Hey guys, Wolfie here, and the beginning of this video is for all of my sex talkers. And don't you just love it when someone on YouTube says that they're gonna do one type of video, but then it turned out that all along they was just lying? <laughs> well, me neither. I'm sorry, but I realized I do not have equipment right now to make the later video, but I, that is coming. I set it on hill. So it is in fact coming. I just need some more stuff to do it. So for today I'm gonna make a house draw video on the computer. So to start out, ain't don't need a computer. You all you need is like a simple like all you need is like a simple paper and pencil. Whatever fit your style. But I'm using um, oops. But I'm using uh, okay, yeah. But I'm using uh, a laptop because I think this will be more easier to showcase how to draw. So I'm using Medibang, which the link for this will be down in the in the description can speak get quality content so now let's get started so this is gonna th this is upsetting that I can not zoom in like that oh well so to get started I'm gonna show you guys how to use these basic shapes and guidelines within an art project so so like I'm just gonna show you guys different ideas that you can use so I'm gonna show you guys different ways how y'all guys can draw the head with the facial feature. And the next video will be on how to draw hands. And you don't need to take this seriously. You can experiment. Like I say, I've been teaching myself how to draw by watching YouTube, reading books. And I like to say that I became pretty decent at it. I'm not gonna say that I'm like the greatest artist in the world. But I did begin decent, so I like to hope that I know what I'm talking about at least a little bit. So when it comes to the head, I was having such an issue with this because if anyone seen my 20 minute life story on how I got started, basically I was starting out trying to draw the head just by what it is, but then I learned a very easier way to do that is by observing disconstructing study the different parts and reconstructing in your drawings so for me the ball part of the head where your skeleton lies is normal circle and I say that your sin is more like down there but you want to know how to get to the sin without, you know, try to guess what it is. So I have these things called guidelines to help me get from point A to point B. And it don't need to be beautiful because this is just the unthos guess. So now I can just scope in the west. And now there you go, you got your head. And now when it's come to the eyes, I like to go to the middle, or roughly the middle, and that line, this line right here, no, this right here, will be my rough eye line. In the middle of that middle, roughly at the middle, will be my nose. And you can add in a third one for the mouth, but I don't like to do that because... Your mouth can be right here, right here, or right here. Almost anywhere, constantly possible. Hey, you need to have your mouth right here, and, and when the, while you're making your illustration, you can have your head stretched out to way over there. Scary, yes, I know, but this could be a thing that happens. So now I'm just doing that. So. Yeah, I'll just 
get Gansuman with this? Nope. So now I'm just zooming in. If you want to draw an eye, you can draw an eye just by doing this. But the problem that I see most people see the, the like the problem that I see that most people have is so if you're looking up you can have your gilda do that. Or if you're looking down, you can have your gilda do that. And that is good. But if you have your gilda looking straight and if you don't know how to make it straight, you have your gilda doing this. And this is a pupil, but this is good because then it's make your gilda look crazy. But for a relaxed gilda, like for a normal gilda, yeah, no. So I learned this from my grandpa. Was I have this thing on Zigzag called add you know hashtag Wolfie Arts Help. Whereas if you like to ask me some questions, just go over to Sixsock. Follow me at at Wolfie Draws. No, Wolfie Art Draws. And you just make a video with your artwork and a thing that you want to fix on your artwork. And I will give you some ideas to improve your art style. And it don't look completely pretty, but you can see all the details have improved the... Uh, style of the eye. Now this may sound a little bit weird for them. I think this will be a lot faster if I just use the mask. Now this may sound a little weird, but I don't actually like to draw an eye like that. But I don't like you can do the outside of the eye whatever you want. But with me, I like to give an eye a bit more the of an almond shape. So let's go up more like that. Then let's go down like that with a curve in that area. Go over. And I do my best to copy that on the same side. And it's not perfect, but no one I is. Like seriously, if you see a way to massacre shape on your face, something is seriously wrong. <laughs> no, but like, yeah, having a perfectly symmetrical shape, or having a perfectly symmetrical head, or face, that is not normal because everyone have different flaws or different things to their face. No matter how many times I go for the book makeup, it's a still because if everyone have perfect symmetrical face, then we will all look the same. Whether if we was born on different days, whether if we are swan or not. Like seriously, like you can like you can distinguish a character by the flaw of their face. And now I'm not saying that the flaw of the face is a bad thing. It's actually a good thing that we don't get confused for one person or the other. So now, with the nose, I kind of just did that without explaining it. My bad. Now I kind of been ex like experimenting with different ways to do noses, but I, but I find it to be more better as a hourglass shape with a bottom like. As an hourglass shape, both the bottom, both the bottom side, way more, you know, stressed down. And now not like that. So, oops. so what I mean by that is, you can make a triangle if you like on the top for the top bit, but the bottom bit, you just go way down. At least as w down to your nose line. Then if you want to make a very really good stylistic nose. You just add a circle of two circles on the side. Exactly one circle on the side. If you want to add those details. The nozzles go in the crevices here. And just go up. 
And the reason why I said our glass safe, because that means now you can do this. Whereas you don't need our glass safe to do that, you can just meet it up at the, at the, the eye line. And again, not every nose needs to be perfect, just like I'm saying, everyone have different features to their face. I think features is a better way to guard other than everyone's face ain't perfect. But like I learned that like um like some people have like big noses, small noses, and like again that's not a bad thing, that's just a natural shape of the nose, the eye, the mouth, the ear maybe. Now I believe never like to bend my own rules a, a small bit. But it's like I say you don't need to follow my tutorial exactly. But I'm not gonna add a two circle to the side. Which you can if you like. So then I just follow the hourglass shape. So then now if you go out, you can see that that looks really good. And now with the lips, gonna zoom back in. Now if you want to draw some some fresh, juicy. Go lips, feminine kind of. You can follow the head, shape of the head. You can add a line if you like, and you can add two circles, which this is the way I learned it, right here, and one big oval right here. And you just go up the circle, and you just kind of glide down it. Then the, the same thing is just go oval, the oval, then you just glide down it. Then you make a horn different color that means you be able to see it. Then you make a small little dip it in the lips. Then you follow the line. Then you can do whatever you want there. But and like you can use that for guys' lips. I just making the circles and the uh, oval a lot smaller. So yeah. So, but mostly me, if I want to draw some sweet guy lips, what I do is I just simply go up and just glide down from the center line. Then from the upper center line, I just make something like this. Then I just go with more on the bottom. And already, without adding any more, that look like a nice pair of guy lips. And like I say, you can go and add some color. I'm about to make it a bit pinkish, kind of. Oops, nope. You want to find a good size. You can just... Add those guy lips in. Honestly, the watercolor almost make this look like way good. But yeah, so it's not the most prettiest, but you can see how to make lips. So now I'm gonna apply these lips to my girl And now you can see that it's looking close to being done with this deep soulless eyes. But now it's to make the ears. I, I can already see that it's gonna be the long video. I bad. But now going on to the ears. I find ears to be whatever kind of shape you want again. There's no perfect shape to draw on the ears. Some people have elf ears, where the ears kind of look like elves. Some people have normal ears. And some people even have ears that is really big. Kind of like the butterfly ears. But that is really big on top. I never seen these people with this type of ear. But you can just like imagine that if you like. And you can even add some more details. 
add as much detail as you want. I don't even know if people actually have these details. I'm guessing that they do, but we don't know. But if you want to make eels like say like this, but this is a snail eel that I like to make, and you can do this for this type of eel as well. Uh, and again, I learned this in how to draw a manga book. See, drawing for mangas ain't just for manga artists. They for other artists too. Because in one art book, there was the um, painting, or like the pistol of like that guy without any clothes. And it was weird, but... Admittedly and weirdly, it was useful because it sees me how to draw a small bit of muscle. Obviously, some of the knowledge then stick. But, I don't think that I'd be in the place that I am if I hadn't found that book. So, I'm very grateful for that. So, I absolutely love this. So now... Let's just make the eels. You know what? What the heck? I'm I'm gonna make elf eels. Um, the next video will be on um for shortening. That is where you can take something in perspective and for shorten it to make the fit the image. Because I'm using a bit of for shortening here for the eels. But it's not gonna lie, it's kind of useful if you want to, you know say be an artist as a real but now with the hill with the, the way ink must so say if you're just doing a normal hill so you can just do stuff like this and this will work if you you know being knowledgeable of where you putting these lines or if you're just making a buzz cut then i just yeah have stuff like that or just do stuff like this. But for me, if you want like nice flowy hill, there's always one part of the hill where everything split out. And if you've seen my videos with my face in them, I have that. It, it, hold on, draw on a quick face. I gotta have that, it's gonna move onto this side. So I'm just gonna, gonna work with that. But some people have their hair like straight in the middle so they can look like for some reason something like that. A little symmetry. And yeah. And from there you can try to like you can go like you can go too crazy. Like you can if you want, but I like you can go a little bit crazy, like if you're doing stuff like this. You can be a little bit reckless. But I says be mindful of where your main point of hell is going from. Where it's going from hell. So now, let's just get the eraser and clean this up with Mastic. Now I'm gonna make the hill. So now, if you an artist, I assess taking your waist saw and don't bust down too hard. Or if you're an artist and you got yourself a needed a waist saw, then just roll over it to I guess load your basti. But if you have a saplet or if you have a touchscreen laptop with a um, stylus then just go ahead make a new layer lower your mm, no. lower your background image and start drawing on your main layer so now you can see that yeah so now I'm just gonna and yes, this is a little bit too thick. No man would have to do that, but for some odd reason, the recording is messing up. 
the me being able to sign the base. So yeah, let's do like this, but it's still okay. Now if you look to the full official, you can see that it looks like that's have more killed on. You can even trash this. Now you can see that it actually looks nice. Not perfect, sure, but again, I'm doing this without being able to grab the paper. So yeah. So yeah, I do hope that you guys learn a lot from this. If you did, leave a like, and if you like, enjoy this video, leave a like, and if you like to see any more videos on this channel, or, you know, see any Minecraft, art videos, and I'm even gonna start making, you know, how to make small snack videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell, that mean, being announced when one of those videos comes out, and I promise to everyone that follow me from six stock that I will make a, a play doh video like with me trying to work with play doh so I hope that you guys like this video and see you guys next time and wolfie out